All right, so we're ready to begin our demonstration now. Uh, so this is the Nui Tech Snowflake software, and it's really cool. It, for anybody who's familiar with using their phone, it's, it's very similar in terms of the interface. Uh, if you look at it, it's just a series of icons. So in terms of the training, it's, it's a very familiar interface for a lot of the teachers that have seen it. And you know, for somebody who's just looking to do some really basic whiteboarding, it's, it's built in. Uh, we have the ability to quickly draw, add images, add pictures, uh, those types of things. So adding this is very easy. Uh, but in addition, you may also want to have a few math. We have, may, do we have any math teachers? Uh, some of the functionalities for math uh, includes like the ruler, protractor, compass is all built in. So if you need to do an angle or if you need to do uh, like a circle or a line, that's very easy to do. Um, and that's all built into our software. In addition, we have the ability to do some basic graphing functions. So here I can add the sine of x. I can specify you know, it to be a little bit bigger. I can change its color. So it's easy to add different types of graphing functions built into our software. Uh, and in addition, uh, you might want to write more sophisticated equations as well. So we do have an equation editor as well. And you can add different types of equations directly into your lesson. And of course, if you're looking to add in images or videos, uh, that's really easy to do. You can add a web page, or here I can actually just browse directly to a video, and I can add that as part of this uh, lesson. So let's say I add this one. So as you can see here, and it's so that's an example of you know it being used in a tabletop scenario. Our focus actually at Nui Tech has been not really to design all of the lessons again yourself, because that's a lot of work for teachers, but rather to why not make it a lot easier by pre-making a lot of content aligned to the curriculum standards. So we have uh, teachers such as Danielle with me here uh, who work with us to build lessons that are aligned to curriculum standards. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's just stand like lessons that are directly related to what you're going to be teaching. Uh, so uh, I'll give you some examples. So let's use this finding percentages example. So this one is a, a really simple example. Um, it's just like percent. understanding That's your how total inventory, work. right? So you watch and the video you first. Eat one banana out of these seven. All you have to do is find out what percent of the total this one banana makes. To do that, you just have to divide the number of bananas you ate so the basic one, instruction. by the number of bananas that make 100. Seven. So once you watch the video, and we usually don't watch the entire video, we clip, we take a YouTube video, we specify a start point and an end point, then you have a hands-on activity. And that's what this is. You just drag them into the right spot. Uh, so uh, 1080 is 10% 10 off $12. And oh, no, it's not. I got it wrong. Oh, no. OK, I thought I was better at math than this. Oh, no, OK. Yes, it, I was right. It was just in the wrong box. OK. And so these are like really simple kind of examples. And of course, if you want to know what to do, there's an information button just in the top corner here. So I just tap the information button. And then from here, you can see, oh, here's the video. Here's the instructions of what I'm supposed to do. And often, they have other additional links. So these will link to um, worksheets, sometimes to other websites as well that you can access. And it also has keywords. And it's also very closely aligned to the standards as well. The purpose of this is to save teachers time. Uh, we really want like the ability to create a lesson in like five minutes or ten minutes, as opposed to building a set a slide deck, you know, that might take an hour or two hours. Uh, and the way that a lesson like this is built um, is actually quite simple. So I just choose I'm going to choose edit, and then in the edit it'll ask you like what type of lesson. And we have 16 uh, different lesson templates that you can just add content. So think of all the stuff that I showed here as like they're just templates for lessons. And then here, I just have a bunch of numbers. You know, those are, those are the selections. And then I need to specify where do those numbers go. So I put those numbers in particular places, and that's it. You know, so this lesson is extremely easy to make. Uh, we're not talking like an hour. We're talking a few minutes. And then in the lesson information tab, you have the ability to quickly add a description. You can also add a link to the video. Or if you want, you can run it off your hard drive or, or a network shared. So you don't need internet for this. You can specify the start point and an end point. So you don't have to watch the whole video. You can watch just a portion. 
Uh, and then you can also add age group, subject, and country, and add links. So this is a link to another YouTube video. Uh, there's also a link to how to find the sale price, for example. And of course here, you can see percentages, and these are the keywords. And here's the other thing that's really important, is we have the ability to add standards. So on here, uh, you can see like this already is aligned to a number of the Texas and the Australia standards. So we support over 400,000 different curriculum standards in our software. And so it's something that we're, we're very excited about because it's like, there's lots of content on the web, but unless it's actually aligned to the standard, it probably doesn't save you time. You probably still have to search it and vet it and make sure. And that's why having teachers who are vetting the, the content, making sure that it's appropriate and then aligning it to the standard, just saves you a lot of that front, front end work. Now, once you have a lesson, you don't have to just have one person play at a time. You could have that as an activity station. Your percent. And so your an example would be, we have this feature called zones, and zones allows you to split the screen. So now, instead of having one person, I could have maybe two, two students side by side uh, working simultaneously. And this is not the same thing as like the same app twice. This is a totally, it's like having two iPads. Right, so this person can choose a completely different application. Maybe they're they're gonna try a little geography example. And so with this one, it's uh, countries of the world, right? And so it's just a way of quickly moving and interacting all all at the same time. I move them into the right spot. I get that feedback. Um, oh, let's see. Does somebody want to help me do this? Okay, so just drag them to the right spot. <laughs> I believe in you. Is that one? There you go. Yeah. Canada, that's where I'm from. And Sweden, where's Sweden? Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> right, so we have a lot of lessons uh, that are just like this one, uh, as an example. And so it's, it's very, like it's very simple, it's very fun kind of activities. Instead of just having one lesson, you can actually load them all as a set. So we have this thing called saved zones, so I can literally, with one, uh, one button, I can load up four different zones and I can set this up as a group activity on the display or I can have it as a tabletop as well. That's your total inventory, right? Yeah. And there goes. one banana out They're of all loading. It's also all you have so to do is find out what percent of the total same time. this one banana makes. To do that... So now, you'll see here, I have four different lessons that have all loaded kind of at the same time. So it, it's a way of like quickly moving from the upright to the tabletop mode. And let me show you one uh, quick example. So maybe in media. You can push one button and then move it from, it'll also tilt the display. We have some displays on the side there that are height and tilt adjustable. Uh, they're really cool. And with them, uh, I'll add a file. So documents, ET demo, IC lessons, this one. So with this one, you can push I one button here, and it's also going to load my app. Mm -hmm. I push one button, it tilts the display uh, for you, and it loads all of the app, different applications, and all the like the videos and everything simultaneously. So that's kind of how the the functionality works. And the concept is, well, yeah, we're trying to save time. We can also set like guided access, so you can keep the kids within that activity. Uh, it's a really powerful way of you know, building, using it in different ways. So you can move it from a upright display for presentation to a design table, all the way to an activity table. So we often say you get like triple the use, you know, out of the display using this technology. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you, which is all of those lessons that I showed showed you today also work on your mobile device or iPads or Chromebooks or any any device that you have. Uh, it's accessible through a, a URL called snow.live. We have 16 different lesson types. We call them the pocket lessons, pair, order, choice, keyword, engagement, and tools. Uh, and it covers a number of different lessons like sequence. Um, oops. Uh, it also has the ability to edit and create lessons. So you can use images from your camera roll. You can record your voice. You can also have a sequence. So you can have, like, you can complete a, a lesson. And once you've done that, you can also see, you can also see what you got right and what you got wrong. We have a little uh, LMS kind of built into the software. 
There's some other features like polling as well that works uh, as well real time with the class. So there's a number of other functions that are, are quite interesting. But uh, I wanted to kind of wrap it up at this point. All right, thank you. Thank <music> you.